all right so uh, in the last video we have seen how account if it is updated how can you update the opp1 opp2 uh, and uh, you know opp3 and oppn right how can you update uh, the opportunities based on the account updation right now in this video we're gonna see the vice versa suppose your opportunity you have opp1 okay this opportunity belongs to an account it's a it's a one to many right one account will have many opportunities right so the requirement is this whenever an opportunity is getting updated suppose opp is getting updated so whenever an opportunity is getting updated i want the account also to be updated so opportunity stage let's say stage if the stage is lost opportunity stage is lost then i want account stage will also be lost right if it is uh, own and the account stage also will be own right so this is the thing just the opposite scenario or, or of whatever we have discussed so far in the last video right uh, let's go ahead and implement this and i want you to follow the same thing with me right after you watch this video so we created this uh, process builder previously i'm just uh, deactivating it because it's not needed as of now i'll go back go back to process builders create a new process builder this time the name of the process is update account based on opp stage okay same thing i have to select here record change save and select the object so which object would be selected here opportunity or account i hope you have decided it yet but let me tell you this See, this time i want my process builder to fire whenever any um, change happen in the opportunity so i have to write the process builder on opportunity object select opp select whenever record is created or edited okay save this give a criteria criteria is what um opp stage to own right so select stage here and uh, choose if it is own then what is the action action is same update i have to show you something here update account that is see when you select the record type you have to again choose the second one because you are not updating the opportunity instead you are updating the account a different record so you have chosen the first one second one now here you can't choose account what you have to choose is this account id opportunity is the child and account is the parent and how this has been this relationship has been established is with this account id field you know what i mean right let me show you and uh, give me the glance of it see this is the opportunity right if i create a new opportunity it is asking me that who is the account and what is the what is the name of this field account name this is the name of the field is what account id so this is the relationship field which is actually mapping between account and opportunity so this is where the confusion comes when you are updating account and if you are updating the opportunities you just have to select the opportunities but in this particular scenario i'm checking if the opportunity stage is lost then change the account stage to lost again so you have to choose the account id over here make sense now when you when you have chosen the account id here i have to go and select what i have chosen the account id here right i have to go and tell the system okay system update the account id's um, status field right so select the status field here it is what would be the value of the status field own i have 
have saved it now i'll go and give the second criteria what should be my second criteria stage is lost and here i have to choose opportunity to stage is equals to lost right okay, lost done and uh, did you check one thing here we have the same thing right if you have multiple rows over here which you can add clicking on this add row button and if you want to put the filter logic right um let's suppose you have like five criteria and you want to put one and two or three and four all this thing you can put over here the logic thing you can put over here okay i have only one condition so i'm just selecting and save right if if this is this condition is true then let me add the same update record action have given a name choose the choose the uh, which record you want to update account id right so select account id and what is the field status select the status field and uh, the status field value should be what lost that's it your second workflow sorry second process builder is also done just activate it how do i test this now to test it in order to test it i have to go to the opportunity all right so um i will go to this opportunity right what is the name of the opportunity is opb1 let me open the account also in a new tab this opportunity stage is lost okay and uh, the account status is lost i will change the opportunity stage from lost to closed on save what's going to happen now it's supposed to change the account status as well from lost to own and if you see here the status has been changed very simple i'll go here and change the status from um closed own to back again to lost okay done what i'll see if i go to the um account i will see the status from own it would become lost right it has become lost here correct so my second process builder is also working we have seen two scenarios here one how can you update with the process builder how can you update the account whenever opportunity is updated right and in the second scenario what we have seen is how can you update the opportunity opportunities basically there could be multiple opportunities right so opportunities whenever account is getting updated all right so these two scenario is pretty much clear i think and uh, now i'm going to go and show you the next scenario so let's talk about the next scenario in the um, next video